Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ira and I'm currently a research fellow at Nanyang Technological University. I live in Singapore and I sometimes posted videos about how to do some data analysis using our studio. And uh, how are you now? I hope that you are doing fine and also in a good spirits even though we are forced to stay at home and now in Singapore there are already more than 1,000 cases of uh, COVID-19 okay it's uh, like a really uh, big increase it's escalated really ha really fast this uh, last month and the government decided to apply a new rule it's called circuit breaker uh, or pink uh, alert level and uh, everything will be closed except uh, some essential uh, services so if I breach my work from home uh, rule I will be fine about $1,000 Singapore is nice okay as COVID-19 is our main concern now I will share a video related to the data and this is related to some of a video I have posted previously uh, you can check about the making the plot of COVID-19 using ggplot and plotly but now I would like to share about how to download the data okay previously you know that to access the data which is provided by John Hopkins University you can uh, go to a link that i will share in the descriptions well so currently it's already one million three hundred thousand something that uh, positive cases in around the world so i'm originally from indonesia and let's see that now my country has oh wow uh more than 2,000, almost 2,500 positive cases. Uh, we have like a very high mortality rate and compare with Singapore, the country where I live, it's have almost 1,400 uh, positive cases. So all of these informations are available in this link. Uh, where is it okay it's from github and then the future layer can be downloaded on the other link so I will just download the data that is provided in github okay you know you have to make your own github account if you would like to clone or download the data or even some programs there so what we are going to do now is we copy the link of zip file okay download the zip and then uh, we save it as a URL so this video is about how to download and extract zip file from github and for this case uh, we'll be using the COVID-19 case so this is one of the easiest way also it's probably not the best way but uh, it works almost all the time it works all the time so okay this is the link uh, because it's a string don't forget to put the double quote and then uh, we set the working directory so our downloaded file will be saved in this folder so I will just set it on my downloads folders and then the functions that we will be using is download file Okay, you can put the URL is URL and then the destinations file is you can choose uh, what would you like to rename the file okay so uh, in here I will just like COVID-19 zip then after we press enter it will download the file directly from uh, the internet so the file size is about 56.3 megabytes it's 
could take up time depends on the size of your files actually so yeah it has been downloaded so we'll unzip it using unzip function remember the name of the file should always be stored by using double quote and then let's check it have its okay so this is uh, it used the COVID-19 trimester so based on the name given by the owner of github account which we download the file okay now i would like to read some of these csv files okay i will just like set working directory to the subdirectory of where the csv files located Oh, wait a second, it's not working. Ah. We don't need this because we've already inside the download file, so profits minus stars, and then uh, what's the name of this subfolders? They are shift. Is it better? No. Oh, archived daily. This upstate. And then to read all the files inside this subfolder or subdirectory, we can use the list files function. So I will just naming all of the files names as files. So it's list files. Uh, we will be working in this directory. And then the pattern would be all files that has the CSV in its name. Okay, it's better to stay safe by uh, using all the full names because sometimes we forgot that whether we are working in which directory and then it just cannot read it if we don't use the full names uh, variables inside. Okay, and then for data we can use the lovely functions which is one of my favorite functions to iterate between files okay use the files name the list name i mean and then the functions x read csv and then since files is becoming x so it's read csv x okay let's check our first data okay so that's how we download the zip files and then how to extract it and then how to uh, looping read all of the file in a list i hope that this tutorial is useful for you and stay healthy and stay pretty everyone uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and see you later